Good afternoon and welcome back to the CHI Health Center Omaha on behalf of the Creighton University staff. We have completed one game. We're going to have our first interviews post game and we'll go off over the um, house keeping details for you. Please silence your cell phones, of course. Each time we introduce a new dais, please identify yourself and your affiliation. The first time you ask a question uh, to the new dais, the coach and the student athletes will be up here together today. Please wait until one of our two mic holders is with you before you ask a question so everyone can hear it. To get in the rotation, please get their attention or mine. And if you have a follow-up, which is fine, remind the mic holder so she stays with you. There is no fast flash photography allowed, nor recording of any kind, including cell phone and tablet use. Today's sessions will be 12 minutes long for Duquesne, 10 minutes for BYU. The victorious Duquesne Dukes are with us, and they have a date tomorrow, uh, two days to play the winner of Illinois and Moorhead State. That'll be two days from today. Uh, you can ask questions for anyone on the dais. Uh, and on the dais, we have the head coach, Keith Dambrot, Day Day Grant, Jimmy Clark III, and Yakub Nexus. And after an opening statement by the head coach, we'll go to questions. Keith, please. Good pronunciation. Thanks. So uh, I think the score pretty much says exactly why we won. You know, that's a very high-scoring team, and we knew that we had to play into the 60s, low 60s, mid-60s, and not much higher than it was for us to win. That's just not the way we win. I will say this. Uh, if you watch them play, back cuts, slips, all of those, we eliminated them all. And uh, the only thing they beat us with was one-on-one, -on -one, and at the three line some, but they didn't get any easy ones. We made them work for everything they got. And it's just a tribute to our guys. Uh, it's a tribute to our league. You know, teams like Davidson, um, uh, VCU, 
Richmond kind of prepared us for this because they do a lot of similar things, and the great coaches in our league got us prepared for, for this game. Thank you. First question is right here. Abby, thank you. I'm going to go to Jakob first. Jakob, first NCAA tournament game for you, I mean, for all of you, but as a freshman, you come in and get a career high in points, rebounds, and blocks. Yeah. What, it, what was going on that you just had such a great game? And then I have a follow-up as well. Um, I mean, I just trying to, you know, I just feel like I had a good momentum uh, on a turn on a eight tournament, and I'm just trying to keep going, uh, just play basketball and enjoy every moment because nobody expects us to be here. So we're gonna show our best, and I want I wanted to just you know best for myself or for my team. So I'm trying to help as much as I can. What's this been, experience been like, and did you expect to have the kind of performance you've had today? Um, I don't really expect that. I just, you know, I'm just starting from the defensive side every time. And for me, you know, um, offense kind of like goes from, from my defensive side. So I'm trying to get energy from the defensive side, from the blocks, from the rebounds also. And after that, like when I'm open, I'm, I'm trying to shoot and just make a good shot. That, that's all. Left hand side. Julio Rauseo with the score. Coach, I have written in my notes, Duquesne have done all the little things right today. And I look at the end of the box score, 19 points off turnovers, 28 in the paint, 23 defensive boards, translating into just nine second chance points for BYU. How important were the fundamentals today for your group in order to do everything right to get this victory? Well, we weren't going to win a finesse game. You know, they're very, very finesseful. Um, we've really improved with our ball movement, our sharing of the ball, our understanding of how to win. You know, uh, I think the, the, the little, I don't know what it was, uh, little scuffle at the beginning of the second half kind of showed everything about what we're about. You know, we're going we're gonna to compete at a very high level in a very clean way. But we're gonna we're gonna compete and make people earn every inch of the court, and it's it's clear. Uh, my dad kind of taught me years ago that hey, if you don't play great defense, you're not gonna be a good team, and so I've kind of used that throughout my whole career, and these guys really bought into it. Moment felt like at every moment in this game when BYU made a run, your group were able to finish the first half by eight. BYU down one, able to go up 54-51, free throw made at 55-51. I mean, how important were those particular moments in the game, whether it was a timeout to calm everyone down or whether the group just leading one another? I mean, how important were those moments in the game? Well, when you start the Atlantic 10 0-5 and, and you lose a lot of heartbreakers and, you know, people kind of count you out, uh, if you look at our last eight weeks or so, We've been in a million of these things. So I, I thought we did an unbelievable job of taking their punches and punching back. You know, they wobbled us for sure. You know, we were wobbly legged, you know, we had a cut under our eye, over our eye, but we just kept fighting back. We just made enough plays. And again, nothing has come easy for this group. We've had to do it the hard way. We were running uphill all year, just trying to get to 500 in the league. And you know, we went to George Mason and VCU and we went a squeaker against George Washington, and then we played pretty good basketball in the A-10 tourney, but certainly we were tested in that as well. And I just think that the more times you're put into those positions, the more you respond. And it also says a lot about just how tough a guys these guys are. You know, like Day Day, you know, I'm from Ohio, so I know where he's from. You know, he's from a tough area, tough guy. Jimmy Clark, nothing's come easy for him. And Jakob, Jakob's a pro. Man, everybody asks why Jakob played so well. The reason is, is he puts time in every single day. These guys will tell you, him and Matusha are the first ones in the gym every single day, an hour ahead of time. And he didn't shoot the ball well for most of the season. But, you know, when you put time in and you have that kind of ability, you know, good things are going to happen. Okay, we're going to reset this for a second. We have a question here. We have two on this side. We're going to go in the back corner and back to Abby. Go. Gentlemen, Zach Weiss, Pittsburgh Sports Now. Just, Jakob, how comfortable have you become embracing that five and being that force? And to both of you, just what has it been like seeing him and Fusini really do that dirty work? It was a huge difference today. Well, um, 
first off, just high appreciation to him and Fasini because if you don't have that on your team and you don't see that type of tenacity and fight, um, it's hard to gain that just out of yourself. So you see that, you see your brother doing that on the floor. That makes you want to even go harder the next play and the rest of the game. So just kudos and big thanks to them and appreciation to them because that's a blessing to have on your team. And that's one of the main reasons why we're running. Jimmy, you're next, please. Uh, I'll have to say the same, you know, just seeing these guys come in every day and put that time in. And I always told them that, like, even even when they wasn't getting what they wanted in the beginning of the season, or we all as a group wasn't getting what we wanted, these guys, they stuck through it, and they, they did it every single day, every single day, and it's showing up today. Yeah, I'm just, um, I'm just felt like, when I'm when I'm playing four or five with the Foos, I just feel like I I need I need to help my team, and I just like felt um, that I'm like helpful in the positions when coach uh, gave me that opportunity. So I mean like I'm trying to get my best basically there. So that's that's all. Just be tough. Right here in front, Spencer Thomas from the Duquesne Duke. Going into this game, Jakob, your career high in minutes was 20. You hit nearly a half hour. Or so. How did you prepare for this moment? And coach, did you plan on or expect him having such an increased role today? Yeah, Jakob first, please. Um, I mean, it, I, I was kind of tired after uh, in the end, to be honest. Um, I, I felt like I'm not really like prepared for this for this type of games. Like from day to day, I just I just was work, putting work out working out like every day basically and that's how I get to the shape like that and I could play 30 minutes that's all so uh, you know really Jakob shouldn't be able to play 30 minutes I thought he got a little tired today but you know he didn't get a lot of uh, a, a lot of playing time throughout the season but again if you ever watch him work out I've never seen a guy work out as hard as he does so he's prepared for this he's a professional you know, he's been around professional teams you know, he knows he knows what it takes to be a winner. And, uh, you know, you add that to Fusini, who is an absolute beast, man. He's the most competitive. I mean, that guy alone just com competing. And then he's been to the Elite Eight. He helped the rest of our guys get ready for this thing. But nobody's going to out-compete Fusini. And, uh, again, I'm just proud of, proud of how all our guys have adapted. You know, like Jimmy and, and Day Day really are the main reasons – that we've won because they've made sacrifices in their game for us to win. And I don't think we could have done that without them. Corey Christen, DK Pittsburgh Sports. This is for Day Day and Jimmy. You've been with Coach now for a couple of years. And remember yesterday, Jake DeMichael said that him retiring was a little more incentive for you guys to come out and win today. How gratifying is that to get that for Coach, knowing what you've been through with him over the last couple of years? Day Day, lead us off, please. It's, it's very gratifying and just um, exciting. It's a blessing, man, and just high appreciation and just be on the coach's wing and be be here for these couple years and just be under the legacy, learn so much, and just build that love and relationship with him, man. It, it means a lot, and we're just trying to keep it going. We're not satisfied. Yeah, I'll have to say the same. It's definitely it's definitely a blessing playing for coach. You know, he gave me opportunity along along with the other guys. And just learning so much from them day in and day out, whether that's with basketball or in life. So I feel like those things helped us come together more and, and build this team together. They just won't let me retire, man. I'm trying to retire, but if we keep winning games, they're going to make me an old man. All right, we're under three minutes to go. We have two questions up. We're going to back. Go. Uh, this is Adam Teicher at ESPN. This is for Keith. Keith, yesterday you talked about BYU's toughness and said you wanted your guys not to back down from that. How do you feel you did in that regard, and what factor did that maybe play in you guys winning the game? Well, I think it's the only factor. I mean, our, our toughness level was high level. You know, we, we stressed with them. In order not to have dips in the game, you have to communicate at the highest level that we ever have. And I thought, you know, uh, guys, guys were getting bloodied on both sides. It was a tough game. They're super physical. Like, people think all they talk about with them is their three-point shooting, but they're super physical. They hold, you know, they, they grab. They play very similarly to us. You know, they're, 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 they're big and strong. And, you know, we just we got out of the gates good, which was important for us. But we've been down 14-2 to two in games, too, and come back and won. So I think the biggest thing is, is 
our toughness is on display, you know, and if you're a tough team, both mentally and physically, you have a chance to win. And I think these guys' toughness over the over the year has really improved, which has made us a good basketball team. Final question here, Abby, go. Jimmy, yesterday you told me you wanted to show today that you could guard some of the best players and the best team in the league, or in the nation, I should say. They have seven guys that average nine or more. You held three of them under those averages. I'm sure you would have wanted the other four, but can you just walk us through your defense and are you happy with your performance today? Uh, defensively, I'll say yes, you know, with the help of my teammates, you know, they're, them talking to me, telling me to be in the right positions. And then with my natural ability on defense, I feel like that's going to help me every time. So I feel like I did show that today. Pittsburgh Steeler. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank for you for your time today, and good luck in your next game Saturday. Thank Thanks you so much. Thank you. BYU Cougars are here with us now. Head coach Mark Pope, Jackson Robinson, Spencer Johnson. We're going to ask Mark to start off with a statement on the game, and then we'll go to questions for all three of the gentlemen on the dais. Mark, please. Uh, uh, tons of congratulations to Duquesne. They, um, they're, they're on a great run, and, and they earned the win. Uh, they certainly uh, fought like crazy and earned the win, so congratulations to them. And um, it's a... Um, Hey, uh, you know, just a devastating day for us, uh, for sure. Um, and um, it's devastating because we lost. It's devastating because um, we won't move on. And, and mostly it's devastating because we, uh, we don't get to, you know, get in the gym together again. And so, um, so major congratulations to Duquesne and, and, uh, and, um, I'm super proud of my guys. Um, you know, um, this is incredibly painful, um, but I, I, I know how this goes. Um, that will dissipate to some degree, and, and it'll be replaced with um, just an insane amount of gratitude for for these guys sitting here, what they've dedicated to um, each other and to BYU and the amazing things that, that, that they were able to accomplish this year. Um, and, and that will stay with us forever. Thank you. Questions, please. Right here on the aisle. Gina, thank you. Um, sorry, is this question for the coach or the players or either? Anybody. OK. Uh, Spence, what prevented you guys from being yourselves maybe a little bit more today, especially early on? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Do you have a, I don't have a good answer for that. Um, that's just kind of how the game went. 
and I don't know. I felt like we did a, a good job of, of, of battling back and, and we put ourselves, you know, in some good situations and then um, we ended up hurting ourselves sometimes and yeah. Right here on the uh, left hand side, gentlemen. Uh, Jackson, uh, the start of both halves were your undoing. I don't need to tell you that, but why do you think you guys come out so slow out of both halves? Um, I mean, I'm not really sure what the answer is to that. Um, I think it's something that we've, as a team, not just the coaches, but the players have um, like reiterated over the season. Uh, trying to get better at, and it's unfortunate we couldn't we couldn't start the game how we wanted to. Um, that's really all I have to say about that. Stay. After you made the nice run, Jax, down the stretch, I don't think you got any shots the last four or five minutes. Were they, did they just take it away from you, or what was going on there? Just playing within the offense, uh, just taking whatever the defense gives me. My teammates were finding me open shots. Um, Down did a great job of just being a facilitator. Um, he's been there all season for us, so just got to live and die by it. We have two right here on the left-hand side. Go. Uh, Mark, what, what was your message to the guys in the locker room after? Can you share any of that with us? Yeah, not a lot. Um, you know, just... Um, you know, it's it's a terrible time you know, because we're, you're just sitting in the locker room, uh, universally devastated, and um, and there's nothing to do to fix it, and there's not another game to go make it better. And so, um, just very briefly express, you know, um, you know how much I love these guys and how grateful I am for them and, and everything that they've done for. For each other this year, and, and uh, grateful for the ride that they've taken us all on, and um, it's been um, beyond incredible, and um, just just profoundly sad that it's over. Mitch Harper, Cancel Sports in Salt Lake. Uh, Mark, uh, th was it something about this stage that was maybe too big for the guys that uh, caused them to come out tight uh, and to open the game? I don't think so. I, I don't, you know, I mean, it's, um, if you think about the environments that these guys have played in throughout the year, and, and uh, it, you know, it's a lot of credit to, to Duquesne. I mean, they, 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 they are playing great, and they played great, and they played themselves, and, and they were really, really physical, and, and um, you know, kind of uh, punched us in the mouth early, and, um, and it, you know, our guys battled back and responded, and it turned into a terrific um, you know, NCAA tournament game, and, and we came out on the short end of it, but um, not not for lack of togetherness or effort or, or competitiveness or trying or, or poise. Uh, we just we just lost. You have a relatively young roster. I know nothing's guaranteed in this sport, but just the, maybe the resolve that this program has to, to try to get back here next year. Yeah, I, I've, you know, um, we understand what a multi-year process is. Um, you know, from year one last year to year two was an epic growth and progression. And um, I think our program is hungry to continue getting better. Uh, we, we can make massive strides in that area. And, and um, at some point, you know, we'll be progressing in this tournament and Jackson and Spencer will be, you know, a big part of that because they, they opened the door to this first season, the Big 12. Yep, final question right here. Thanks, uh, and Jackson Spencer, um, this for you, Jax, if it was your last game, uh, what's the what's it meant to be at BYU in this experience and, and Spencer your thoughts in your last game? Yeah, Jackson, your first, please. 
Um, speaking specifically for this dude right here, I mean, he's my brother. Um, he's a, the ultimate leader. He's led this team the whole season, um, and we wouldn't want anybody else to do it. And I can speak for everybody in the locker room when I say that. Um, and I mean, Coach Pope, he's been a great coach. Um, he's helped me so much, mentored me. Um, I couldn't be here without him. He took a chance on me, and I, I mean, I'm forever in debt for that. Um, this loss sucks. Um, like Coach Pope said, we want to be back here next year. I'm already thinking about it, but um, yeah. We can make that happen right now. Anything else for the Cougars? <clears throat> for oh, me, Spencer, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's been an absolute dream to be able to play here for four years. Um, to see the growth that, you know, we've taken as, as a program and as individuals, it's been incredible. I'm so grateful to, to everybody, our our administration, our athletic directors, our coaches, you know, Coach Pope and, and his entire staff have been so awesome. They have taken all of us kind of um, from spots in our lives where things were going super great, you know, for, for whatever reason, whether that be in life or in basketball. And they've given us a chance and a new, and a new place and an opportunity to go and to go and take um, a new future and to watch all of us grow through the course of this year and, and through the course of these four years that I've been here is it's uh, there's no words for it uh, it's been incredible and I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful thank you gentlemen best of luck in all your futures Yeah, see you out there.